Hello, um, my name is Wendy Zi. I am one of the site PIs coordinators for the um, CLEAR IVH trial, the CLEAR 3 trial at the Johns Hopkins Hospital. I'm also the, um, one of the leaders of the safety event committee for this uh, study. The CLEAR 3 trial is a randomized uh, phase 3 trial that compares the use of external ventricular drainage plus TPA versus EVD plus placebo in patients with severe intraventricular hemorrhage, obstructing the third and fourth ventricle, but with small intraparenchymal clots less than 30 cc's. At this meeting, we are presenting the safety endpoints uh, for the first 250 patients enrolled in the CLEAR trial. And the main message that we are trying to put forth is that at this time, none of the uh, Data Safety Monitoring Board uh, pre-specified endpoints have been crossed. And these uh, three endpoints are mortality at 30 days, which is currently at 12% in this study, um, significantly lower than in previous studies, retrospective and prospective, looking at patients with severe IVH, which ranges from 50 to 80% in many studies. Uh, the bleeding events are the second endpoint that we report. Um, the bleeding in the acute phase is the main uh, endpoint of interest, and currently our symptomatic hemorrhage rate is 1.2%. Um, within 72 hours of the last dose of study agent. And this is a very low bleeding rate, um, significantly lower than we have seen in the previous phases of this trial, uh, suggesting that we are learning how to deliver this drug safely um, for this uh, indication. The symptomatic, uh, asymptomatic hemorrhage rate is about 16%, again, uh, quite low in, uh, in consideration that we are putting TPA directly into the ventricle. And many of these hemorrhages are very small hemorrhages that are along the catheter tract and are, are not symptomatic uh, whatsoever, at least that we can detect. We are also uh, looking at CSF infection rates, and currently we have a bacterial uh, meningitis rate of uh, 2%. And uh, again, this is a very low rate, uh, looking at patients who have treatment with EVDs. Um, and then chemical meningitis, or non-bacterial uh, meningitis, is at, at about 5.2%. And again, this is a, a quite, a, quite a low rate, um, uh, given that we are doing injections three times a day into the ventricle uh, for a period of four days, uh, obviously under strict sterile conditions. So I just uh, want to stress that at this point in time, uh, intraventricular TPA uh, for IVH is not the standard of care. The AHA guidelines do state that although the complication rate is low uh, for this treatment, the safety and efficacy are still considered investigational. However, from what we have seen now in the first 250 patients, uh, we believe that the protocol is safe and that this safety is achieved because we have very strict protocols for determining stability of hemorrhage, for concurrent drug use, uh, such as heparin and warfarin, and also um, a very uh, strict adjudication process for looking at all of the adverse events, which is essential to make this study safe. Thank you very much.